Hey guys, it's a geeky chick here with kind of like a first look video of Avalon Legends. It just came out this week on the 15th. It's by Kick9 Studios. It's kind of like an MMORPG that I've been really enjoying so far. Right now you guys see I'm about level 21 and I chose the warrior class. There was a lot. I think I even took a screenshot. Maybe I'll throw it up here for you guys right now. But that's like the hardest part for me guys, figuring out which class to go for. But in the end, I picked Warrior, and so far, I'm pretty excited about it. I also took a bunch of other screenshots. Instead of going through the whole tutorial um, for you guys, I kind of just went on through it by myself. But I did take little screenshots because as you go through each thing, like when you got like a new um, a new thing opened up, it give you just a little graphic explaining how how to do that or what that meant. And for me, I like to keep track of those things because later on down the line, I'm like, oh wait, what was that about? But yeah. Also, what was I wanting to tell you from the tutorial? You get a free pet. Like, so everybody, like you see, I have, oh, I didn't mean to move so fast. As you can see, I have the frost boar and I got that at level 17 and you go to the pet expert. I don't think I can quick here. I know with navigate, you can um, quickly get to people but I don't think I can quickly jump to her. But yeah, you get that from the pet expert at level 17. Okay, so I just go over this main screen with you guys real quick. I uh, Some of these things don't get unlocked immediately, but you um, they have online reward and you get these pretty much every few minutes that you spend on in the game. There's arena, that's where your PVP battles are gonna be. I've done one today. And that was just part of like the introductory tutorial mode. Then there is alchemy. And it seems like a way to exchange your uh, diamonds or gems for gold. It looks like you get maybe one free a day. So I did that. I, mean, I think it's one free a day. I don't think it was like just one free because I was doing the tutorial. Right here, um, all the way in the far right, um, we have our dailies and the dailies goes by points. So as you complete dailies, you get more points and then you can claim the different prizes up to 200 points. You get 30 diamonds. So far, it looks like it's really, really good or really, really easy to get diamonds in a game, which I really enjoy. Like I have no problem putting money into a game, but I also like games that are free to play that you still can play for free. And this definitely has that. You can get diamonds just by playing the game. Here, just like, you know, a lot of games like this style, just like you have your dailies, you also have your achievements. I have a lot that I can claim here, so I figure we claim, it looks like there's some gift boxes, and we can see what's in those together. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's go, I tap my person, that's how I've been bringing up my inventory, by just tapping my avatar icon in the top left. So, oh, okay. So this is the box I have. I guess those other things just automatically gave me something. Maybe I should have read that. <laughs> All right, so level 20 epic weapon blueprint. Let's see, we're going to get a diamond card. I don't think I have one of those yet, so we'll see what that's about. Um, use to gain 100 diamonds. Definitely going to do that. This blueprint will give me a better weapon. I, yeah, so we can craft that. Very nice. So did we, did I automatically equip it? It looks like it did. It looked like it automatically put that on her. Yeah, because it took the other one. And then this hammer I just got from Merlin used to add socket on equipment. So I'm not quite sure how that works. Let's see. This I can't open until level 30, but I'm gonna get, these are like Merlin's gift boxes. They kind of have like a whole Camelot storyline going on. And Merlin the wizard is one of the main guys you talk to, you even talk to Guinevere. So I've been loosely following the storyline and I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm so much still on the tutorial. I There's still things that aren't unlocked, but I have gone through and completed chapter one. Yeah, make sure that's, yeah, chapter one, Night Forest. I've done them all on easy mode. Once you first complete it, you get a rank S bonus, and I did auto attack 
and I was still able to get rank S for each of these. I mean, it's easy mode, so what do you expect? Looks like I got a golden horse shard for that one. Oh wait, we wanna stay in here. We wanna collect all those. That gave us another horse shard. Yeah. So that looks like what we're getting here. Ooh, a, a fire hammer. Gold war heart shard. And fire hammer. All right, so here's your inventory. You start off with a decent amount of space. You get two windows, um, two windows and then, oh no, three. So on the fourth window is when you'd have to start buying and two diamonds to open up the chosen one backpack slot. So I don't know if it increases in price, but as far as that, two diamonds. But you do get a lot of space, so you're not gonna be um, too held back in the beginning because of uh, backpack space. They also have uh, this thing, Fame. You can spend diamonds or gold to bring up your fame level. I haven't put anything into that yet, but it's gonna give you permanent stat bonuses. You're gonna get gold, and you'll get, uh, this one you get a spirit card. So the spirit cards you spend when you're upgrading skills, and it's these, when you're training, so your attack, your armor, well, upgrading stats, I guess, would be more of the correct word for that. So far, my favorite thing, I'm really, really enjoying the different type of pets. There's a pet that I just have to have. If you see Puffball, you guys can write down in the comments who Puffball reminds you of. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to give it away, but he is so cute. And I think that's going to be something that I work towards. But they have a lot of cute pets. Um, I even have an uh, extra pet that I can open up for you guys. Maybe I'll do that um, in another video. We'll uh, open up. The, the pet egg that I have. But okay, so just since this is like a quick first look, I did want to show you guys me actually in battle. So we'll go in here. I think I have enough power for the recommended power. This game does have an energy system. It's vigor. And I think it's what, about 10? 10? 10 vigor a level. So here we go. I did the auto over there on the left. And these are the skills on the bottom right that I have unlocked. Each level, they give you nine nine health potions so that's pretty cool so i haven't seen where i need to buy extra maybe if you run out i'm pretty sure they'll give you an option maybe to use gems to to get some extra ones but starting off with nine is really good i haven't really needed to use any of them because my power level usually as long as you're you're playing the game right your your power level should be equal to the stage you're on Oh, and that's one thing, the the auto doesn't break like these little boxes, you know, you kind of have to do that on your own if you're really into making sure you get every single thing. But auto mode does open up the chest. In the top right corner, you also see objectives, and I believe as long as you complete all objectives and finish the level within a certain amount of time you will get rank s and then that's when you'll have the little um the little gift box that you can collect for each level i also think i'm not sure if you have to get rank s to unlock sweet or if you just have to beat it but you know sweet mode is kind of like um, some other games call it like blitzing when you don't actually have to go in and fight it. All right, now it didn't say S mode. I don't know, did we not get S? No, we got A. Maybe we didn't finish it in time. Let's see. This is the first time I got A. I guess we didn't finish it on time. So I got A on that one, so that's a good thing. I can go and see. I can still sweep. So I don't know what you would have to get. Like, maybe if you just completely failed it, then maybe you wouldn't be able to sweep. But I know for sure S, and now I know for sure A you will be able to go back and sweep. And just to show you, 
um, here's a sweep. You can stop a sweep at any time. When sweeping, your hero does not open chests inside a stage. Each sweep takes 30 seconds. You can boost a sweep with diamonds to complete a sweep immediately. If your bag becomes full during a sweep, items that you looted during a sweep will automatically be added to your bag when space is available. Well, that's handy. You can't start a sweep when your bag is totally full. You must have at least one free bag slot. So that's kind of cool that you know you sweep through it. Oh, okay, in 100, 10, 30. Okay, so there's the prices. Auto sell items below Epic. Auto salvage out items be below Epic. So that's pretty cool. It gives you like some good options there. I think that's the first game that I've seen where you get so many options for your sweeping. I also like how they store your items. So it's not like, oh man, I didn't have enough backpack space. I just missed out. You'll still get it when space opens up. All right, just to show you some of the skills um, for the hunter, I have jumping strike. Fury, Iron Skin, and Hunting Blade. Those are the ones I've unlocked so far. The next one will be Recuperate. So, oh, that's good. Um, some healing. And then we have these up until level 51. I'm not sure if that's the level cap or not. In order to upgrade these, you need stars. Right now I have five out of six. So, since you have so few stars, you kind of want to be picky and choose wisely which skills that you, you um, upgrade. The, it's kind of the same thing with training. You use spirit. Now I have a lot of spirit, but it can go quick. Now I went and bumped my attack all the way up to 19, my armor and health, but I haven't done anything for dodge, crit, or healing strength. Uh, I'll probably add some on there, but you know, it's kind of like a personal preference. You just decide which one is more important, or do you just want to go the route of upgrading each thing evenly as you get the supplies. Like a lot of games in this genre, they do reward you for making um, different purchases. So you can get, looks like here, like for your first purchase right now, they have a special, you can get a rare dino. And I believe this is um, make any amount of purchase. So any kind of gem purchase. So you, they have a 4.99, 150 gems and so on. And then they have the VIP level where you uh, get certain rewards for purchasing and so you can accumulate over time, which I like games that have those features. So it's not just, okay, I spent money, I get my gems and that's over. And you know, a lot of these games, you're gonna be putting money in, you know, over time. And here you'll get rewarded over time. You'll get unlocked different perks as you buy gems or items or whatever it is that you're, you're buying in the game. All right, before I end the video, I will go and show you the PVP battle. Okay, so here's the PVP battle. From what I can tell, it's auto. You fight them automatically. This is the second time that I've seen they don't have their pet, so I'm not sure if that's a thing. You get to fight them without a pet. You get to fight them with them not having their pet, but you get to have your pet in the battle. I don't know if that's what's happening or if the people I'm playing somehow didn't unlock the free pet or activate it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's going to be it for this first look video. Check out my next couple of videos for this game. Um, I'm going to uh, try my luck at the Magic Spin Lottery, see if we can get some cool things there, and also um, open up my other pet egg. As always, don't forget to check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Camcord page. Links are on the screen, but they will also be in the description. I'll also add a link for you guys to be able to download this game. If you want to add me, my name is a geeky chick. You guys can see that in the top corner, but it's a geeky chick just like it is in most games. I don't have a guild yet. Not quite sure what level that unlocks at, but when I do, I'll let you guys know and maybe we can play some together. And speaking of play together, they do have multiplayer um, dungeons that you can um, cooperatively play. So that's pretty fun. I haven't got a chance to do that yet. I, I don't have any friends in the game yet. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will fix that. Otherwise, I'll have to get on the waiting queue. You can do the waiting queue and um, find other people who are looking for someone to play with. I'll see you guys next time.